Okay, so welcome to Mobile Freedom Enterprise. <laughs> here I am taking it out completely. And I'll show you what I'm putting in. But here is the review of this, um, I forget the name. I'll put it on the description <laughs> in the title. But, um, you know, I'm pulling it out because it's it sounded great, but it sucked overall, and I'll tell you why. So you're using, um, you know, you're using Spotify, right? make sure yeah I'm playing my stuff let me play my most recent album so I can uh, get paid for it so um, let's start with the car play all right so I'd like to change the, the sound frequencies of the system while I'm listening to music so I have to go home home button sucks it's like it wants to work and then it doesn't um, I'll go to EQ so now it's uh, the music comes in okay. all right so there I am jamming the music oh forget trying to uh, the only thing you'll get to synchronized with any system is the volume. You can't do skip, you can't do, you know, skip fast forward, you can't mute, you can't answer your phone from your, from your controls on your steering wheel. That sucks. It's, nothing's compatible with it. I contacted customer support, they didn't know what to do. They were just lost. And, um, and they have trouble translating because they're Chinese. Anyways, so, Here's the music, all right, you're, you're adjusting everything, okay, and then you want to go back to CarPlay, and guess what, there's nothing to do to go back to CarPlay without interrupting the music. You have to go there, click the button, it has to disconnect, reconnect, sucks, all right, all right, next issue. Next issue, so you have a subwoofer out, right? You'd think that when you use the filter on here, which I thought was so cool, when you use the filter that you'd be filtering, you know, the frequencies that go to the four speakers and allow the sub to do what it's supposed to do, to create sub frequencies. Well, guess what? Look what happens. This is BS. Hear the bass, right? I thought I could adjust the frequencies to the four speakers. No, it ruins everything. You're not controlling just the four channels, but the subwoofer output as well. Yeah, full parametric EQ, right? But it's worthless. It's worthless if you're messing with the subwoofer. You don't have a separate subcontroller. All right, the loudness, if you go too far, just distorts. It's pointless. Anything that you boost too much, like the bass or anything, will only distort the sound. It sucks. It's terrible. All right, you got your front cam, which never really wants to work and it's connected. Rear cam is fine, right? stock system great so pointless you know you, you wait for the ring you can turn this off and on by the way but you can go to the front cam but if you want your music back it's gone you have to go to phone link go back to apple carplay allow it to connect and you're back so i'm not taking that bs anymore <laughs> doesn't make sense at all thanks for watching don't buy this one Nero tech or something like that yeah don't waste your money don't waste your time good quality um, great quality uh, you know, amp sound EQ all that stuff but you got problems with these buttons the home button specifically and uh, you know the filter is BS thanks for watching Global Freedom Enterprise hopefully this has helped you and avoid this I have to buy another unit. Returning this one.